Alrighty, attempt number 14 or 15 at this point. Lady and gentlemen, boys and girl, I'll welcome myself back to my own channel. Um, I saw no bell nor whistle in sight, and I told my patrons and all BDMA club members what the deal was. I'm not going to get into it with the general public, although I may keep this just for the clubs anyway. So, recently at 1FC event called Strikers R Us or something, there was an amazing open stance battle between Superbond Banchamek, which is a Bulkao disciple slash teammate, against one of the best southpaws in my lifetime, striking all considered uh, Giorgio Petrosian. He's an Armenian Italian fighter, if you don't know him, obviously. Um, so, I'm going to just narrate this for you. What I want you to notice on the way through, because I'm going to have to like pause it at, at points, I think, just for copyright purpose, is that on the escapes, what what Superbond was showing to Giorgio every time they'd escape from exchanges. So he's using all the normal tools and I'm just going to walk you through. I only watched the fight twice or three times, but I just could not get a video together. So here's Giorgio per usual high guard and you're seeing tens and eights from both. So low right kick for a righty or that right teep. And that was key. That was one of the big ones because you have to chamber it with a knee first. So it could be a knee. It could be a low kick. It could be a, any kick, really any 10, any 8, a knee, or it could be a teep like that. Whenever Giorgio squares up, now he escapes there to his own right. So he's going weak side right there. He tries to catch the key. I mean, catch the kick, the teep, and come in with a left straight. Now he's escaping here and he clinches. So... Superbond can't show much. Right kick block. Now he charges in with punches. Right kick block. Right kick. Or, okay, so there it is again. Now that was straight. That was straight. Both of those came up linear, right? Again, now he shows him the knee with the chamber as he's escaping the exchange there. I want to say clinch, but it's not. It's like in from close quarters. There it is. Right kick. Right teep. Now Giorgio responds with punches. This is very typical of him. That time right knee right up the middle and a left on the break. And see, again, he's opening with that head kick, but he's not throwing it through a combination. He does one. He sneaks it behind a two, which they might have already shown. Again, I've only seen this a few times, too, so I'm trying to remember when, what happens. Here, there's a clinch. That right teep. See, whatever they square up, that was really nice. There, again. So he's, he's responding with it from single shots, but every time he lands one, then Giorgio tends to kind of bum rush in with his beautiful punch combinations. That was an incredible defensive sweep there off the caught teep. Pull in slash blah, 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 blah. So here he comes in, right kick, one more time. Now that time on the escape, bang. Unbelievable. So he sold that as a right knee coming up the middle, maybe as a, a middle 10, or maybe as a knee, or maybe as a teep to the center of the chest in the solar plex area. So here he is, there's the left teep. This is kind of what he was doing at first. That was a little bit more to the hip, which is common. Kicks him, he tries to return, and on the escape, he had no time to see that. Look at that. Because every time he had escaped prior, when he was pulling back like that, it was a knee. See right there? So he thought he was safe from danger, and then the leg just pronates. And what's incredible is a Muay Thai fighter like that turning over his hips so fast. Here we go. Kick, punch, punch. He escapes, looks for the knee, and did not see that kick wrap around because... Kind of the Wonder Boy knockout effect. You you want to hide it and wrap it around their head like that. It just just absolute striking perfection from the open stance. So every time the guy escaped the, escaped an exchange, um, that guy being Giorgio Petrosian, he was he was kind of keeping his hands low, but he's very fast at blocking high kicks normally if they're naked, which you saw earlier. So anyway, if you want to look cool for your friends, tell them it was on the escape. He was selling a knee and or low kick and or middle kick prior and never saw that head kick coming incredible uh, this guy's beaten um what's his name sita chai song pinong i think I, I i'm butchering the pronunciation i'm sure but and now petrosian i mean he's top five for k1 max level anyway that's all i got i might do this just for smarts kind of depends on where it goes copyright wise i gotta be careful i